<clears throat> Hello, everybody, and welcome to your 13th uh, SFML platformer tutorial. So, I, I, to, to start off, in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the file manager class. But before we even get into that, I don't want anybody be get, to be confused about um, how the, the frame time and this stuff works. Like, it confuses a lot of people how it runs the same on every computer. So, let me just give you a quick run through, okay? say my computer updates every single second okay and um my friend's computer runs every two seconds okay so windows get frame time will return the value one and say our fade speed is equal to one okay yeah so it's one right so that means every single time my computer refreshes then alpha will decrease by one times one so it'll get the value one right so on my friend's computer, his refreshes or updates every two seconds. So whenever the computer updates, Windows get frame time will return the value two. So two times one equals two. So every single update, the alpha value will um, increase or decrease by a value of two. So no matter how fast or slow a computer is, whenever it refreshes, it will end up at the same position or end up getting the same value no matter what refresh rate or whatever the speed of the computer is and this is why we tend to use windows .get frame time if we don't use windows .get frame time and say my computer updates every second and um and the, the, my friend's computer updates every um two seconds then after two seconds my alpha would have increased or de decreased by two but when my friend's computer refreshes after two seconds it will only increase by value of one and therefore you'll get an inconsistent rate depending on the speed of computers okay so that is why we have that there so now to get on to the purpose of this tutorial uh, we're going to be creating a file manager class now as it basically the name gives it away it's going to handle um, loading and saving of files so right now we're just going to be um, really concerned about uh, how we load in um we load in files right we don't really care about um saving files right now because we don't even have a game we don't have game elements to save right uh so right now we're gonna create a load content method uh so the load content is going to take in um a few values so what we're gonna do is we're gonna include uh, the vector class, and we're gonna say, hmm, we're gonna say std uh, vector, and we'll we'll make a vector of vectors, and we'll store a string in there, and we should include the string class. Uh, this will be attributes, and we'll copy this. and uh, we'll change that to content and we need to have at the beginning a constant char and a file name okay so that's it and we'll just have to include the string class And change this to be a vector okay so I think I got everything sorted out everything should be right so let's go to our file manager dot cpp okay and I don't feel like rewriting all of that so I'm gonna copy this And sorry if you can't see the end of this. You know what? I'm going to. Okay, so now you can see it. So what we got to do is we also, since we're working with files, we got to include the F stream. Uh, so what we're going to say is we're going to call F stream. Open file and we're going to open up the file name. Okay, 
that we specified. So simple enough. Uh, we'll say that if open file that is open, then we do something, and else then we can call an exception. Now, uh, right now, for for the most part in the tutorials, um, we're not going to be handling exceptions um, right away. We're going to edit our code to be optimized later on. What I'm trying to teach now is trying to get results quickly, and then we do error checking, error handling later. Okay, now it's up to you if you want to pause the video and do error checking right now. It's really up to you, but uh, I feel like it's kind of like a waste instead of getting production done first um, because you guys like results, right? So anyways, so if it's open, then we'll say while not EOF. So if we're not at the end of the file, uh, then we got to do something. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we got to, uh, we're going to make a string and we're going to call it line and we're going to use a get line function oh, it has to be std get line and we're going to store open file uh, we're going to take the stuff from open file and store it in line okay uh, so we got our line and what we got to do is um, we got to we, we got to do some like trimming and, and such like that okay so um so uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna include uh algorithm and um i hope i remember this function uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna say line dot erase and we're gonna erase from say scd remove uh, we we'll say line dot begin, line dot end. We we'll remove spaces, and we'll go to line dot end. Uh, so basically, what is going to be going on here is that the SED remove function, uh, it doesn't really remove anything. It will give us the basically the location of um where we find the spaces and it will just uh, will delete and we'll use a line that erase to delete th those values from the beginning to the end okay that's what is basically going on you can search more about it uh later on and i hope i did that function right but if i didn't we'll we'll edit it later okay so what we're gonna do now is um let's include the, the the IO stream. So we're going to be using the console window just to, to give us a grasp to see if we've done it right. And we'll, if I have time, of, I won't really have time, but what we're going to do is just to display um, just to see what we got from our text file. I'll uh, just to show you that the format that our text file is going to be in. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to end it there. So this is how our text file is um, initially going to work. Okay, so this is how our format's gonna look. So we're gonna say in our everything if we have two different things. We have attributes and we have contents. We specify an attribute by calling load equals and then um in the square brace we specify the attribute and then in another one we specify another attribute and we could specify as many attributes as we want, okay? And then in the following lines, then we declare what's in that attribute. So, um, for example, let's say that we're loading uh, images. Okay, so let's say image. Then I could put the location of my image. So I could say it's in the folder load slash um, image one. Now, it's the reason why we have loads equals is because what if we're checking to see if it's an attribute or not? We want to check to see if the line contains load, right? If this line contains load, then I might think that this is the attribute um, we're trying to check for attributes as well. That's why you put load equals because generally you're not going to have a file type that's load equals, right? So therefore, that's why we have it. So anyways, we could specify uh, different locations for images. Then we could load different things like the position of the image, um, the alpha value of the image, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then we could specify our position and we can specify the alpha value etc etc so that's how the format's going to work um so uh 
just gonna save this to the project file uh, I will save it as um, test uh, dot CME or whatever sorry for not showing you that um but yeah so I'm gonna call that test.cme and quickly uh, what we we're gonna do in I guess in our screen manager class we'll call that on initialization um, so we're gonna go in our screen manager dot dot h and we'll create an instance of the file manager class and uh, let us open screen manager dot cpp and in the initialize we're just gonna call uh, fade dot load con uh, not fade sorry file dot load content now I don't know what's going on but uh, let us for the load content it takes in a few parameters uh, so let's go to screen manager at H uh, we need oh that's that's the reason we have to include the file manager Okay, and uh, so the file, so we just need to add a vector. So let's add a uh, two vectors. Um, uh, and we'll call this attributes, and let's copy this. And if you try to put a comma and then put another thing there, I notice that it gives you errors. So I wouldn't advise you do that. Uh, but let's go to the screen manager at CPP and for load content, we just put in attributes, contents. No, actually the file name first. We'll call test.cme uh, attributes contents. Now before uh, I I even test this out. Uh, one thing is that we should put ampersand because we're going to be adding values to it later on uh, so put the uh, reference symbol and let us run this to see if this actually works it okay so let's see if we get it okay so the contents of our file has been um, displayed and as you oh sorry as you can clearly see that the spaces have been removed right uh, if you see the position I separated them in the text file but you can see the space are removed uh, so uh, that is going to be it for this tutorial and we will talk more about the file manager class and um, subsequent tutorials. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.